everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's hobby based card is this fun birthday card using the Let's Celebrate um, papers by Trimcraft. And I've used a sentiment inside which is from the Crafty Panda Magical Unicorn set and some other supplies which you can find over on the hobby based page. And all those links will be shared below. So from the front, it just looks kind of like a standard 4x6 card. However, when you open this one up, this all drops down and then you have a little easel. So I'm calling this a corner easel card and it's really, really pretty. You've got the shine there from the silver embossing powder. I've done some fussy cutting from the papers. That's the sentiment which I love, have a magical day. I just think it's a really nice sentiment and I'll show you that in a minute. And then on the back, is, um, is. <laughs> there's a section there um, for you to write your message. So yeah, this is what we're going to make. It, might look very complicated, trust me it's not. It's made from one sheet of A4 and you can also use letter paper as well so if you're using 11 by uh, 8.5 it will work for that as well. But you can see here how I've got this square piece in the middle but it's still attached to the longer kind of side pieces there. So yeah, really nice, like this one and then that just folds down. You've got the, the velcro there and then the whole thing just folds flat and you can pop it in your envelope. So let's crack on and make it. So you do need a few bits and pieces. Now I've done all of the fussy stuff already so we don't need to worry about that. So that is the Crafty Panda Magical Unicorn. So I use the Have a Magical Day. You've also got your Magical, that's nice as well. So I do love that stamp set. <coughs> Excuse me. You need a nest of circle dies. So any ones you want. I've just picked these particular um, uh, detailed ones there on the on the edges but normal circle ones will be fine. I've done a little bit of fussy cutting already and you can see here and I'll show you the sheet that I use so I'll just pop those to one side along with all of this here which I'll talk you through in a moment. So this is the paper pack, let's celebrate. So I love it, all gorgeous papers and it's available from Hobby Base. This is the 12 by 12, it also comes in 8 by 8 and 6 by 6 and yeah, it's being well used this one, very very nice. Then um, the paper, so I've just got some cardstock here and this is 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. So this is the um, A4, standard A4 size. So if you're using 11 by 8 and a half, I'll still talk you through the score, scoring that you'll need for that. So grab your A4 piece of paper, card, and along the 11 and 3 quarters of an inch side, you're going to score at, at halfway, so at 5 and 7 eighths of an inch. Okay. Now if this is your 11 inch side, you're going to score at 5 and a half. Then you want to rotate your card, and then this is 8 and a quarter, so we're going to score at 4 and 1 eighth all the way down. And if you've got eight and a half, then you'll be scoring at um, four and a quarter. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Let's get rid of the scoreboard. Then what we want to do is just burnish our score lines. So I'm just going to do these ones here. And, that. and then we're going to do a little bit of cutting. So just grab some scissors. And it doesn't matter, but along the long side, you want to cut up to the centre. So I'm just going to cut up and I'm going to remove the score line. So just kind of take, it's about a millimetre like so. And then I'm just going to go back down again, just removing any of that bulk. Okay. So now what you want to do, any one, this one over the top or that one, it doesn't matter, but just bring them round. Actually, if you bring your right hand side over the top, then it'll make this next bit easier. And you can see now we're starting to get our corner forming. What you want to do is grab a pencil and where this piece here is over the, has gone over the top, just draw a pencil line, like so. Then put this one over the top and bring the other one round and draw a pencil line, like so. Okay. Now you want to cut down both of those pencil lines. So just cut the pencil away, so just cut slightly off from it. I mean you can always rub it out anyway, it doesn't matter, like so. And then cut this piece up, but cut above the score line so you're removing it, okay? Just keeps your card nice and neat. And then again, just cut straight down that one. And remove that completely. Okay, so now when that goes 
in they should perfectly cover each other and we've got that effect coming together already. Now you want to do an, some extra score lines so I'm just going to grab my ruler and I'll grab my stylus from my score board and what you're going to do so this is going to come in like so and this needs to now be able to fold up inside the card so what you want to do is just grab your stylus and your ruler and pop your stylus down first right in the middle there where the cross is okay and then line it up to the point down here and just score go over it a couple of times and then do the same pop your stylus down in the center there and score out like so okay then burnish both those score lines I'm just going to do that with my finger and thumb just to kind of start helping it along so it knows which way it wants to fold so you should be folding both of these down like so okay now what's going to happen is put one over the top you might have a preference if maybe you've cut one slightly crooked or something then that's fine either one will work and they're now going to sit on top of each other and now when you bring that up it will all close into your card so you need to get them stuck down so what I would say is use some wet glue pop your wet glue both sides of the triangle don't really I wouldn't um, glue on the line as such just so it will again help you bend that up okay so just get that glue down okay so there is that piece all done now if you are a bit fussy like me I've got a tiny bit it's not even a millimeter it's literally just a slither and I'm just going to trim that off like so there you go it's the tiniest amount but just to show you that you can still change it if you need to and, and fix it so now just kind of help that up like so and just burnish it all into place make sure everything's all nice and lined up okay so now we have our kind of pop-up it's a corner pop-up card but a corner pop-up easel card seems to be quite a mouthful so I'm going to just call this a corner easel card <laughs> I think that's going to be easier so that's that piece all done so now we need to decorate so let's just get rid of that for the minute I've already done my front okay so what I've done here is I've got my decorative papers from the paper pack then I've used some rectangle dies and I've stamped happy birthday this I rave about this and it is available on the hobby base website and it's currently now in the sale it is such a handy very large sentiment um, by Dovecraft so again all the links will be shared below but I would definitely recommend grabbing it and keeping it in your stash because it's so handy and you can see that I've just fussy cut these are some lollipops and um, ice creams um, from one of the paper papers in the same pack just to tie it all together so you're going to need three pieces of this so this um, is going on the front and then these two are going inside my card. They're all the same length, um, same size. So these measure five and five eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so two of those are going to go inside and this one is gonna go on the front. Then on the back, you need then another piece the same size but in plain white and just stamp your message and stick that on the very back. Okay, so that's those four pieces. Now to make the easel piece, so this is where you need your circle um, dies. So I'm gonna stick all that down in a minute because once I've explained this to you, it's all then just assembling it. So it's pretty straightforward. So you want to, first of all, grab a circle die that is gonna fill, grab this one here, this bottom square area. Okay, you may choose to use square, um, but I quite like the circle in the square. I think it looks quite different. So you can see this one here. I've got about one eighth of an inch kind of gap on all the four sides there of the square. So I've gone for that one. That one you want to die cut in white or any color you want really, but that one I've done in the white. So that's going to go down there like so. And this is going to be the one that's going to have the Velcro underneath to kind of keep this flat. Um, then you will need to have your kind of the topper part of your easel so I have then die cut the next size down and then the next size down again and that's what I've stamped my message on okay so those two have given me this and I've been using the same color card again to tie it all together then also what you want to do is with that middle size one so the one that I've used for this back piece this is how we're going to make our easel so what you want to do is grab, I've got a card here and you want to make sure it's long enough that 
it will take both of your circles side by side. Okay? Just fold it in half. Do this all freehand, you don't need to score or anything, like so. And then you're going to get your die and you're going to pop it down and you're going to have it overhanging by about a quarter of an inch. Okay, it doesn't matter as long as it's overhanging by something. So I'd say between a quarter of an inch and half an inch is what you want. Now I'm just going to run that through my die machine. Okay, so that's just come out there. Now some die machines you may need to pop some shims in. You may need to, you know, run it through a few times um, because it is cutting through two pieces of cardstock. But basically now you will have this dinky little card. Okay, in this orientation, this top one, you want to fold over, keeping it as straight as you can to that middle fold. Okay, like so, and then I'll just burnish that one there. Okay, so now this is our easel, and then that will go flat when the card goes flat and pop up. Then this one will now sit perfectly. This one's got a scalloped edge, so I just need to make sure they're lined up. If it's a plain circle, then that would just perfectly sit in there anyway, and you can stick your sentiment on last. I've done it all in preparation for the video. But you can see now, that will all go flat, and then it will pop up, like so. So what you want to do now is just apply some glue to the bottom half of this semicircle that we've created. You don't need a lot, just enough to stick that down. Keep it all in its flat form, and then pop this over the top. Again, I'm having to line it up a little bit extra because I've already got my wording on there, so I want to make sure that's straight. But just stick that down. Okay, so I've just popped some glue now on the back of that easel piece, all right, on the whole piece there. Grab the circle one, keep it all flat just so I can line it up better, and just pop it in the middle so it looks all nice and even. And you can kind of lift that one up and flatten that down. Okay, then with the white piece, um, what you need to do is on one side I'm going to add some. So, this side here is going to be the side that is going to be stuck to, this side's going to be with the Velcro. So, when I see it like that, flip it over. So, this side I need to put just some little dimensional dots here, just a random name, put one down there, like so. And then on this side, you then want to add a velcro dot or a magnet. It's entirely up to you. Just trying to get a pair together here. There we go. And just pop that one on that side. Now the reason I put dimension on this side is because this has got dimension, the velcro. If you just stuck that down flat, your your main kind of easel piece will be on a, on a slope. It just won't look very nice, it won't look finished. So it's just a way just to kind of bring it all up to the same height. So I'm just going to remove all those little bits there. My Velcro's already got adhesive on it, so now I can bring it in and keeping my message nice and straight, making sure I've got about that one eighth of an inch even border, and get that stuck down. So now already it's flattened this bottom piece for me. It's not kind of lifting up a bit because obviously it's got that um, score line there. So now already that's all in place. Now all you need to do is pop down all of your mats. So I've already got mine all glued. So that one is going to go on the front. I've got that one for the back. And then I have these two, which I'm going to go in the middle. This bunting die is just from my own stash, but I'm going to go and get that all stuck down. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. We'll bring all that back up. Now we need to add our little stoppers because right now our easel bit isn't really doing anything. It needs to be stopped so it stands in that position. So that's where all these little fussy cut pieces come in. So I've done these earlier and I've already put just the same little dimension um, foam dots there on there. <laughs> I'm getting my words out. I've already popped my little dimensional foam dots on the back. And then I just want to decide what I want to have there. So I think I'm going to have the bigger one on this one. And you just decide how far up you want it. I'm going to have it about there. So I need that to be the stoppers like so. So I'm going to hold it, try and do all this with one hand. This is the main stopper, I would say. So let's bring that up a little bit higher. There we go, you can see already now it's stopping it. 
and bring in this one here and that does the other side there we go so there's the card now what I would say as well is do all of these stick these mats down when it's all flat before you do this bit but I wanted to show you the process so it makes more sense so you can kind of then go and find things and decide how you want it to all come together but um, yeah do your mats try and do them you can do it like this but it can be quite fiddly if you're using wet glue it'd be better but you know once you stick your uh, double-sided tape you don't really uh, have much wiggle room at all so there's the corner easel card so now that will just go flat then you just lift the velcro up and the whole thing folds down into this lovely card so that is this week's hobby base card i hope you've enjoyed it i've really really loved doing this one it's so much fun it's so different it's again a real statement piece let me bring in the other one here and that one like so i love the colors and i just think they look absolutely fantastic so let me bring that one up again for you there so you can just see that one that one and obviously you can really personalize this i think the easel would look lovely with a number so 21st 30th like so on and so forth um or you know any grand occasion i think they will be fantastic so as always if you've enjoyed today's tutorial please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye